Hi, my name is Sean Olson. Today's lesson is how to use a normal map with a specular mask at the same time with Wallworm. The challenge is that the Vertex Lit Generic, which is the default shader for models in the Source Engine, does not allow you to have both a normal map and a specular mask at the same time. In order to do that, you need to take your specular mask and put it into the alpha channel of one of the other maps, such as the normal map. And today's lesson is to show you how to do that inside of Wallworm. We're going to open up the material editor, and I recommend that you use the slate material editor, especially when uh, dealing with some of the tools we're about to do here. So we have this, the original uh, material here that was originally applied to this object, and it was then baked down the shell material into a new material with three bitmaps. And again, we have the diffuse, the specular, and the normal. Now we're going to have to take this specular and put it into the alpha channel of this normal map. And that's what we're going to do here. So we need to select our model that has the material that we need to work on. In, the, in this case, it's this material. We're going to choose Wallworm, Wallworm Materials, and Alpha Spec. When you do that, you're going to get a list of materials on this object that have a specular level map. We want to bake it down into the bump map. We just click do it. We have to choose a file to save to. Now, this is important. When saving any kind of normal map, you should always keep a gamma of 1.0, always. Also, because we need the alpha channel, we need to make sure that it's got 32 bits per pixel in the image attributes. Save this. Now when it's done, the material editor will be a little cluttered here because a new node was created and we're going to move these down to show what happened here. The original bitmap and the original specular map are now disconnected from our material, but they're still here. And you can see what happened. We had the original normal map piped into layer one of a composite texture map and the specular level map was piped into the mask of it. That was then rendered into a new bitmap. Down here, we have two new bitmap nodes in the slate editor, but this is important. They're both referencing the same bitmap. And this may be a little bit of a lesson for some of you who are not familiar with the way Max's textures work. This is our normal map. Its bitmap points to the bitmap we just rendered out with alpha spec. This is the specular map. It's also using the exact same one. But how is it that it looks black and white and this one looks has RGB full color? Well, it's simple. Let's look at some of these image attributes down here in the bitmap parameters. In this one, we're using the RGB intensity as the mono channel output and the RGB channel output using RGB. In this one, we're actually using the mono channel output as alpha and we're displaying in this scene the RGB channel is outputting the alpha channel as gray and that's why you see these here. We didn't act, The tool didn't actually have to make these display this way but it's helpful for you to understand what you can do and how these are working together. Notice also if you have Wallworm Pro installed you're going to see a large list of parameters down here that discuss that set how the VTF which is the texture that goes into the game is. We're exporting this as a normal map so even though this is a specular level map here this node still needs to say normal map here. We can also set the MIP mapping and other options and one thing that is important because we want this alpha channel to appear correctly we need to make sure that the compression is D DXT5. There are other options we can set, but that's it for now in this explanation. Now, I am going to actually add another parameter to this model to explain one more thing that some people don't understand. And this affects if you export your material and uh, you find that the textures are all black. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some extra parameters to the material here. So I'm going to select this model. I'm going to go to Wallworm, 
while we're materials and I'm going to choose this give object mats plus text and this function adds these extra attributes that you see here the texture CA for Wallworm Pro users and it updates the material to have extra parameters so when we do this we can double click our material and it too now has parameters now this is important when you use that function the default source shader is light map generic which is not valid for models first check this for model checkbox and then it will default to vertex lit generic and have a few other options you can do other options down here but that's all we're going to do for now that's important because we wanted to export this as a vertex lit generic with these extra source shader parameters now before I go into any more detail before we actually export it I want to discuss uh, this composite map that was added here and the original maps the reason these are still here and you might want to use this is if you want to actually customize and do extra edits and extra details to uh, the way that the specular map exports for example you may want to uh, change some of the output and, and edit it to, to output exactly how you want you can go back in here and edit this and you can even add extra layers here if you want and tweak it to your exact needs and then re-render this with the render map function back into the bitmaps down here now we're ready to export our uh, textures and open up Wallware model tools here click pick model and I'm choosing my Wallware model tool helper I'm going to click the export VTFs button and I've already exported these um, previously in my test but I'm going to export them all again here and this is important any actual bitmap that's reused in this case the stone totem spec normal VTF is in two slots here the following uh, versions of it in the list are always grayed out and you can't re-export it what this means is because these are two texture nodes in here we have to make sure that the one that is checked up here which is the specular one actually has all the settings we need so if we change the settings in this one it won't actually translate if we're using two copies here so in the case of this one because this has to be a normal map make sure that even this specular level one which again was by default but if you need this to be a normal map come down here and check this once they're here we're just going to hit this export selected button once we click that there's going to be an export window and it'll take a second once that export is done the texture is now in game I've already exported this model with this button here so I'm going to open up the model in Half-Life model viewer now with the model inside of source you can see here where the specular mask is and is working together with the bump map to create some shininess on this rock and that's how you combine them so if we go back into Walworth model tools we can open up this VMT dir and open up our VMT and you'll see what it put in here we have a base texture a bump map and then we have this um, we have the EMV map being masked by the normal maps alpha and that's what exported there again my name is Sean Olson you can learn more about me at my website at SeanOlson.net and you can always get the latest version of Wallworm and all the other Wallworm tools at Wallworm.com hope this has been educational for you and helped you out in your journey thank you and have a good day